Hi Scorpio, I'm Anisha. You can write to me at tarubyanisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.tarubyanisha.com and this is your monthly forecast for November 2014. Happy birthday Scorpio. We begin this month with Mars that is conjuncting Pluto on November 10th and this is aspecting a part of your chart that has to do with higher mind, learning and some amount of travel as well. Now whenever Pluto transits this particular house, your words have merit and people take your thoughts and your ideas seriously. You are able to sway people to your side with your words and this is an excellent time if you work with words somehow. So say if you are a writer, a speaker, a singer, it gets a wonderful, wonderful time for you. You can transform your relationships with your siblings, neighbors and community at large. You can also dig deep into your mind, gaining control over your mental capabilities and use that mental power to your advantage, Scorpius. Around the November 18th, Sun conjuncts with Saturn in your house of self, what it is that you want, how it is that you perceive yourself, how it is that you want the world to perceive you. Now, Saturn, when it uh, transits this particular uh, part of your chart, it's a house, uh, it, it, it's a fire house and a house that rules our personal identity. We concern ourselves about how we come across to others and how it is also physically that, uh, you know, we appear. It's not just about our habits or about our character. It is also our outside how it is that we um, look. This is also an excellent time for those of you uh, who have been looking at wanting starting any health regime, diets and the like, simply because it's a time when we look in the mirror, we see ourselves more clearly, not what we want to see. Our outlook on life changes on a more serious, responsible tone. And um, though at times you could find yourself lacking in some self-confidence here and there, you might reach out to others in an attempt to validate yourself, looking for ways to boost your conf confidence copiers. When these attempts fail, you may feel temporarily let down and discouraged. Rest assured that Saturn will rework these feelings with your help, of course, until you reach a time, that is uh, since the transit that it takes place in about a month or so, and you will have a stronger sense of yourself by the time that you come out of these uh, this transit. Now this transit also acts to transform your self-confidence in such a way that you question the source of your confidence to date and discover a more solid base for pulling up inner strength scorpions. Now Saturn is here to rip away the superficial illusions about the self, the body, personal abilities, no longer will be tolerated and the end result is going to be a newfound identity and a realistic understanding of the self. In terms of careers and project, outward signs of progress may not be as forthcoming and yet the work that you do during this transit will lay a foundation for future success and progress. So for example, if you have been sort of been working on a certain project and it gets stalled and you leave it, there are chances that it will get revived again. Or you may continue in the line of work that you have been doing but could have taken a sabbatical in between. Venus is going to be transiting Uranus on November 26th and this is a part of your chart that has to do with work, with day-to-day -day chores, your health and general boring work that we all of us sort of run away from. Now Uranus' presence here may throw you a few curve balls, shaking up your daily routine and Uranus being the planet of unpredictability, chaos and he's the bad boy of astrology. He's just going to come and shake up your work and your general day-to-day -day chores. At the root of this is an urge to break free from the confines of routine and some distaste for fitting into a mold. This year, for you Scorpions and even this month, in fact, you're moving into a fresh approach as to how it is that you approach your work and the daily details of your life. Irregular schedules and perhaps some disruptions and tensions are possible as you adjust into this influence, particularly if Uranus is also in your ascendant as well. Now your working hours could become quite non-traditional. You might be moving towards a more unconventional job and you could be quite restless with the daily routines and you may find them quite, you know, ploddy and quite just sort of uh, 
mulish you would not be wanting to do the regular uh, stuff at home now work that is limiting or lifeless is going to be dragging dragging you down and you're going to be craving excitement this month as far as your work and your day to day chores are concerned scorpios it could also be that some of you are traveling or you could be in an environment where you are not able to stick to your day to day routines as well and it's an entirely different routine for you and you're just sort of um you know you you just pulling uh, all your nerves sort of together to make it a more disciplined or more routine like for yourself and for uh, uh, you know people around you so overall um, scorpio is uh, again a, a month of uh, looking at yourself what is it that needs to be cast off and a new approach to life just keep in mind that anything uh that is um, being there uh, a certain conditioning of how it is that you think of yourself whether physically or um you know even as far as your inner reserves your inner strength is concerned is you need to be um, all that uh, superficial fear and everything is just going to be getting ripped off and you're going to be this new or stronger uh, more confident person that is going to be taking on the world So have a great uh, November it's been a pleasure speaking with you I'll see you again in December my friends